like Louis district. And we are on the main district, Patio, located on the North Shore. Uh, from now, we're going to the Vanilla Plantation. We only have one bank here, just this. On the left side, ladies and gentlemen, you can see your honor. <laughs> you can see a coconut platform is to dry the coconut and to make the cobra. So I'm gonna invite you to come down and we're gonna have a demonstration about this first. Um, when the coconut is young, it's yellow or green, like this. This, you open it. The inside, the meat is very tiny, and the water is very sweet. It's very good. Alors là, les cocos donc jeunes que vous connaissez, hein, donc on veut les boire euh, avec le sucre, okay. c'est bien cela. Hein. Mm -hmm. Alors, quand ils deviennent, euh, they drop on the ground. Hein. Alors, une fois qu'ils sont matures, ils vont tomber. Okay. So better be uh, not under the coconut tree. Il faut pas être sous le cocotier. You can see over here there's some brown coconut turning brown. So the people here, what they do, they gather the coconut, eh? les gens ils font des tas de coco dans la cocoterie. And then, when you, uh, you clean the coconut field, you gather all the coconut together, many, many group like this. And then, when you're ready, when it's all finished, you take your neighbor. Alors quand les tas sont faits, on va prendre two, three, four neighbors, on va inviter deux, trois voisins à venir vous aider to open the coconut. So the coconut with the axe, avec une hache, one shot here and the coconut is two pieces. So usually there's two boys on the axe or one and the whole bench you just do that. So it's very physical, hein? c'est très physique parce que, hein? ben, il faut ouvrir tous les noms. Mm -hmm. And then you separate the two half. And then there's two boys sitting with a little tools like this, avec un instrument, hein? the set phone. They're gonna take the meat out we extract the meat and the meat is like this eh? thick and that meat you can grind it squeeze and you have the coconut milk eh? donc c'est cette chair qu'on qu rap finalement pour avoir le lait coco if you don't you take the meat and then from the place where you are at the end of the day you bring down on the platform that we're gonna visit now so Une fois que ben, le copra est décortiqué et extrait, on va amener sur le séchoir. What is left is this. This is to help. Oui. This, 
we don't waste it. Eh? On ne gaspille pas. We're going to use it when we go to the vanilla plantation. All the coconut shell is used to fertilize the vanilla plants. So, no waste. And when it decomposition, it's, it's very good fertilizer. Eh? That's why you see all this coconut has been harvest and they keep that. You can put in a machine to grind, eh? to make it smaller. And it's very, very good for the vanilla. The vanilla likes the coconut. Oh, this coconut. Uh, they bring here last week. When we stopped with the group last week, it was just eh, coming on the platform. When you put it here, it's white. And then, the coconut don't like the water. So, it doesn't want to eh? C'est pour ça que vous voyez les plateformes comme ça. The roof, this, push under, and the roof, over. So, the boys here, you have to, when it's cloudy, you have to watch for the rain. Because sometimes the rain here is only five minutes, but it's enough to, you know. Alors la pluie, il eh, y a toujours quelqu'un qui surveille et en même temps qui va remuer le coco toutes les demi-heures, toutes les every half hour or every hour, you just turn the coconut. Okay. So when it's finished, like they're telling me today, they're gonna fill in the bag here. Alors ils vont remplir les sacs parce que c'est fini. This is eight days, hein? seven, eight days when it's good sun. And then every Tuesday, tous les mardis et jeudi and Thursday, you have a truck coming around the island. They stop by the platform if they see the bags. Hein? Si voient les sacs, ils s'arrêtent. And the two boys coming with a big, uh, with a balance, and they wait all the bags. Alors on va peser tous les sacs. And one bag is maybe 60, 70 kilos. 50, you know, to 60, it depends. If you put big like this, if you put gros comme ça, not too much weight. Sometimes they're gonna cut it, you know. Small. So this is very dry, eh? you can see. Eh? You want to smell? We smell the vanilla later. You can smell the coconut. Alors, on peut sentir là, la noix de coco, le copra. Just throw on the platform. This, the truck take it, and every when they send it to Tahiti to the oil factory. Yes, good. Hey. No problem. Yeah, my. And in Tahiti, they're gonna cook it and press to extract the oil. And the coconut oil is uh, is sold outside the country. Or you can make uh, to perfume, you know, the soap, the shampoo. Or, eh? Après, on fait beaucoup d'utilisation donc de l'huile de copra. And this is the first revenue of the island. C'est les premiers revenus de l'île. The good things with the coconut, la bonne chose hein, avec le, la noix de coco, you have coconut all year long. There's no, there's no season. All year long, you have coconut falling. So every two weeks, the people go clean the yard and have coconuts. And even some small uh, production, the people only have one or two bags. You sell one bag, maybe, uh, let's say, $80. So if you have one bag, two bags a week, it's better than nothing. So, alors c'est entre 70, 80 euros, toi, 7000, 8000 francs le sac. Et la chance, c'est qu'on a du coco toute l'année, donc ça garantit quand même aux gens un minimum. As I said, when we started, there's no too much jobs. Over here, the people are very independent. Hein? Les gens sont très indépendants. No jobs, il n'y a pas de travail, but they do a little bit of coconut, so they have a little bit of money. The vanilla is only four or five months harvest. Hein? La vanille, c'est quatre, cinq mois de récolte. And then everybody is growing around their home. Tout le monde plante un peu chez soi. We have about seven, eight roots. Like the taro, the manioc, the sweet potato, you know? Tarua, ufi, that the people use for their living. And if you know how to go fishing a little bit, si vous savez pêcher un peu, vous plantez un peu, and then you make a living. So, until our parents, jusqu'à la génération de nos parents, until our parents' generations, all the family here is six, seven, eight, ten people. Ten kids, so c'est des familles de huit, dix personnes. And so it's good, so you have, uh, so you have labor to go in the vanilla field, to go in the coconut field.
Alors ça fait de la main d'œuvre. Mais en même temps, over here, there's, the revenues are not very high. But the people are not poor, tu vois. Ce pas des hauts revenus, mais les gens ne sont pas pauvres. If you have a house, you have what to eat on the table, and then it's okay. One thing is very important, is that as you don't have steady revenue, quand vous n'avez pas de revenus euh, réguliers et fixes, when you go to the bank, comme vous allez à la banque, the bank don't give you a loan. Or very small credit, maybe $5,000 is a big deal. And so the people here don't have credit, don't have debt. So, no credit, no stress. Yes? Yes. Ils sont pas trop stressés parce que... But it's hard, so they make uh, little by little, you know, they have sometimes more money. The vanilla, if you do a good production, you have good money one time in the year, and it helps to construction, you know, or if you want to buy a car. But the revenue is like this, all year long. That's why. If you're on YouTube. Ah, Papa, I'm going to buy a When it's mature, it's almost matured. It's gonna catch you. Okay, I'll leave this here. Take it later. You catch here, and then you catch here, maybe two or three. You make a hole, you put in the in the ground like this. One. And then You take some vanilla beans. This is the vanilla, you know? Like over here. This is Thai, there's five here. Five, uh, you know, different. The vanilla is a vine. Eh? It's not the tree, this is the vanilla vine. And then, you're gonna put, this we, we come, eh? You're gonna put this around the tree. You tie it, and you put the coconut shells. On the outside, like this, you know? Mm -hmm. And usually you grow the vanilla on the land like that. The vanilla don't like too much water and don't like too much sun. That's why we grow like this. This is the traditional way of growing. And then you put the coconut and the, the tree is, you know, is sticking. 
sticking on the tree to hold and it goes up and it comes down. If you let it go, it will go like this. Go all the way up and then you come, you take, you know, it stick here. So you take it out and then you don't let it go up, you let it come down like here. It's going to come down. You go underneath and then it goes like this. You do like two, three buckles. And the second function of the tree is to give shade, shade to the vanilla beans. So here I have one little bean because they're gonna start the harvest. So for over here, for example, you know, I have a little grape, there's only four beans. So it takes nine months for one vanilla to mature, to get mature. So how it happens, the vanilla, over here, when you have the flower, one flower is one vanilla bean. When the flower is ready to open, it's gonna open like this morning, five, and at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. is finished. So I don't have any flowers now. And uh, the flower, what is special with these flowers is that inside the same flower, you have two little sacs, one behind and one in the front. And there's the male and female pollen in the same flower. But we don't have bees to pollinize, how to say, pollinization. Mm -hmm. So what we do, you have to handmade it. That's what the difficulties of the, you have a little stick like this, maybe like that. So there's two little sacs. Each flower, when you come, it's open. You take one of the pollen here and you put it here. So very little pollen, and you put it here and one flower is done. And then second flower, and then you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. You do all your vanilla every day. Four or five months, every day you have flower. If you have 1,000 flower, you have to do the pollinization of the 1,000 flower. Why? One flower is one bean. So the flower starts here, like a little button, button, button. And then when it opens, you do the pollinization. And then the flower is here. The holder of the flower is the vanilla beans. So the flower will stay there, die, and then the, the holder is growing and becomes the vanilla bean. If you don't pollinization in that day, the next day, two, three days after, the flower falls off and you don't have a bean. So like regular size is 1,000, 2,000 flowers a day at full production. You need to be two, three percent minimum. The biggest plantation in Haamini is 15 to 20,000 flowers in one day. Seven days you go, even on Sunday, raining, sand, you have to go. If not, you don't have the vanilla. So that's a lot of work, you know? So what you do, every day in a tissue, we bring the vanilla, but it has to be like this, eh? brown. Eh? We bring on the platforms here. This scent, and then the and then the smell will come out little by little according to the drying time. So when the vanilla beans be our gracious host on this trip is showing how they raise black pearls. Black pearls are rarely found in nature, so man has to give them a little push to get some of the finest black pearls on the planet right here in French Polynesia. We are thanked by our host for visiting the island of Tahaha only shore excursions go to the main island from the Paul Gauguin cruise ship. All the people go for a barbecue on the Motu Mahana. And that's where we're going now.
It was a beautiful experience going to Haha ha and the Motu Mahana. It's definitely paradise. What more can you say? Check out TalaviStudios.com for more travel DVDs.